from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. All right, we've been tracking the rain through the morning, a soggy start to the day, numerous accidents during rush hour. Now we're starting to see a lot of improvement. We sure do need the rain. We could use a lot more. I'll show you those totals in just a minute. Here's what it looks like on our Lucky Star SkyCam network. Still socked in with the cloud cover, kind of a low cloud deck, but skies are clearing in western Oklahoma. Let me take you to the map, show you what happened overnight early this morning. Showers develop at about 3 o'clock this morning, really started to fill in for 4, 5, 6 a.m., and now making their way off into eastern Oklahoma. And as the rain makes its way to the east, see all those little blips over Tulsa all the way back down to eastern Oklahoma on the cloud deck. That's where we have what we call convection. Those cloud tops are growing a little taller. And then you get back into western Oklahoma. Skies have cleared and we are seeing sunshine in our western counties and back into the panhandle. Even some sunshine breaking out now in far western Canadian County. So how much rain fell? eight one hundredths at Fort Cobb, five one hundredths in Hobart, just under a tenth of an inch at Will Rogers, 0.15 in Jones, three tenths of an inch at Bristow, and just under a half of an inch in Tulsa, western Oklahoma. We told you maybe a few sprinkles, and there was a couple areas that got that. Otherwise, the bulk of the rain was in central eastern and southern portions of the state. Still getting a little rain up to the north, all the way up into northern Oklahoma, and then off towards the east. See the showers, pretty steady, moving through Logan County, exiting Kingfisher County, now into northern Oklahoma County. So through Edmond, still getting the showers moving through, back over to Arcadia, and that's going to kind of hug Route 66, making its way off into Lincoln County, Kearney, Agra, Tryon, getting in on the rain. A few showers near Hominy, back over Call Lake kind of the north fingers of Call Lake, and then over towards Ada. Cloudy skies, there are the sprinkles on our downtown camp. 46 degrees with a gusty south wind, where we're still locked in with the cloud cover. Look at the temperature difference. Lower, mid-40s, and then you get the sunshine already into the low 50s, and it's going to warm up for folks out west. Live wind gusts, 30 to 40 miles per hour. Had several wind gusts this morning, over 40, and that was just causing that rain to blow sideways through the region. Skies clearing out. We're drying out still a couple sprinkles here at nine o'clock by noon mid 50s in the metro upper 60s and low 70s is what we're expecting today i think we'll be in the 60s across central oklahoma just a little cooler and then you'll get to the 70s and quickly upper 70s maybe have some 80s in the far west later today and fire danger will become a concern in our western counties later this afternoon on the back edge of this upper level storm we may get a few additional sprinkles in the far northwest this evening it's a 20 percent chance or less so the storm scooting by to the north is what's been contributing to our wind. Actually, a little weak wave also coming out over the Oklahoma uh, panhandle, swinging out over northern Oklahoma. But that's the main storm. You can see the spin with it. As that moves by, rain chances go away. Next storm already coming onto the coast of California, and it arrives on Thursday. So tonight's a mild night. Our warmest night we've had in a while, especially after the Arctic air for the weekend. We had 41 degrees for average. We'll be in the upper 50s and low 60s. Tomorrow, 80s across the region. Average high is 65, but it will be windy with high to extreme fire danger. Even though the moisture is increasing, the humidity won't be awfully low. But with that type of wind, the drought, please be careful. Thursday. Thursday is the day that the upper level storm arrives. And when I showed you over California, drives a cold front in here and the timing of this still not completely pinned down. So stay tuned over the next couple of days, dropping to the 60s in northwestern Oklahoma, 70s in the metro, upper 70s to the south. The question is how fast is this front just blast on through? Because once the cold front comes through your region on Thursday, what will happen is your at the atmosphere in the low levels just becomes very stable and that takes the severe weather, weather risk away. Ahead of the cold front, we'll still have that risk for severe weather. So where does this set up? This could still shove a little further to the north, more down to the south, depending. But right now, low risk for severe weather. Large hail damaging winds. I do think we'll see storms in this region, and there will be a very low tornado threat. Rain chances still look likely, and in fact, after the cold front blasts through, we'll continue to see rain kind of coming up over that storm system, giving us rain chances lingering into your Friday. 40% chance. Temps in the 60s. Rain chances Saturday night into Sunday. 70 Sunday afternoon with 50s in the forecast as we head into next week. A little cooler to start the week. Robin and Lacey, back to you.